Hello, my name is Tyler Nallen, and I have been a student of photography for almost a decade. Today I would like to talk to you about the history of the camera. In its many years, the camera has taken several forms and has become one of the world's most used tools in all of human history. We will be discussing the major reforms to the camera system and how they impacted photography. I hope to leave you with the impression of how this invention and its reforms revolutionized photography and also the world as we know it. Without the invention of the camera, our lives would be incredibly boring. Think about a world without movies or television. Now think about a world without photographs. I can let you in on a secret, it would be excruciatingly bland. But why, you may ask? Well, first let us begin by understanding when and where the camera came from. The person who gets credit for inventing the camera is argued amongst many photographic historians. Alyssa Mayo of the Studio Binder agrees that it was French inventor Joseph Nietzsche who is credited with the first photograph taken on a self-made camera using silver chloride covered paper in 1816. Now let's take a look at what that camera would have looked like. This is a modern representation of what early cameras would have resembled. It consists of three major components. First, we have the lens plane. The lens plane holds the lens and allows the light to travel through. Next, we have the bellow system, which allows the lens plane to travel back and forth, focusing the lens. And lastly, we have the film plane. The film plane is where you would load your film to expose your photograph. It also holds a piece of ground glass, which allows the photographer to compose his image before taking the photograph. Now the next major reform to the camera wouldn't come along for 120 years. Colleen Welsh of the oldtimey.com states that in 1936, the first single lens reflex camera was introduced to the public, the Kine Exacta. It was very popular, but it was very, very expensive. The 35 millimeter SLR became the industry standard in 1959 when Kodak introduced the F model. This model was so convenient and so affordable that not only did it convince professional photographers to make the switch, but it also became a household item allowing for photography to become as prominent as it is today. Now this is a 35 millimeter single lens reflex camera. It holds a single lens at the front which allows the light to pass through. Now the reflex part comes in with these mirrors on the inside. It's a series of three mirrors, one, two, and three which allow the image to be reflected and transposed upside down, allowing for the photographer to see the image and compose to the viewfinder. Now, we can look at the modern day digital camera. Now, according to an article written by John Aldred of DIY Photography, Steven Sasson invented the world's first DSLR while working at Kodak in 1975. It weighed over 8 pounds and the image resolution was somewhere around one-tenth of one megapixel. Now you fast forward to today, 2020, the modern digital single lens reflex camera is anywhere between 26 to 100 megapixels. That image comparison is unworldly. The only difference between the modern digital camera and the film 35 SLR is that instead of film, this camera holds a sensor which converts light into single blocks of color called pixels. Millions of these pixels put together create an image. Now that we have gone over the major reforms to the camera and its history of inventors who have changed the world with their work, we must also now look at the world we live in. We would not have movies, television, advertisements, we have to realize that we are exposed to millions and millions of photographs every day. And none of that would be possible without the work of these inventors. While these inventors started the journey, it's up to us to take their creations and build and expand their platforms. If engineering isn't a strong suit for you, then I suggest you take their creations and use them well to capture the beauty of this world and create the magic of another. It is up to us to document our history for the generations to follow. Thank you.